Man, 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 man. Bro, you got to give us the history. Yeah, I, I know you gave us a bit, you know, in the group, but you got to give it to us here. You have to. Well, I think uh, it has a lot of... It's very difficult. So uh, I think mm-hmm. when I was living through the whole thing, yeah. it was hard to even tell. It was, mm-hmm. it was hard to tell when people were lying or people were trying to change the story or, or do whatever mm-hmm. make, make me feel like I was crazy. Yeah. This was written a couple years later when I started actually delving into uh, narcissistic persona- personality disorder. Mm. And I read into it. You have no idea how much all of it made sense and how much correlated in my mind and how much, you know, did that. Um, I think I can, I, I don't know if some people would understand some of the lines I did. But like uh, when I said, you always reinforce positive growth. Are you willing to say that under oath, say to St. Louis or the Pope? Mm. I don't know if if people are into sports. I know you have a sport group as well. Yeah. But if you look at the baseball team, St. Louis mm. Cardinals, mm. what's another uh, jumping stone from Pope? It's a to be a Cardinal. Wow. Inside the church. Yeah. So. I'm all, I'm also saying that. Are you going to say that under oath? You're going to say that to a cardinal or to a, a, a pope? Mm. You're going to say that holding the Bible and saying that under under law? You want to say that under law? Well, just know that I know your game, even if nobody else knows. I know the game. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, another part in the poem, I think, was right before I made the last. Uh, I think the last couple verses. Mm-hmm. He was talking about. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Once as friends, I guess my forgiveness is a blame. So, uh, I was probably at my lowest point when I was living with him. You know, obviously I had different low, low, lowest points in different, in different spots. Yeah. But with him, he told me that if I needed, uh, someone to talk to that I could, I could talk to him. Mm. And maybe I didn't approach it the best way because I, I messaged him, but yeah. We, we lived in the same apartment, so I guess, you know, my forgiveness is to blame. I, I blame myself on a couple of the parts. I've, I've played my part in that. Mm. But when I messaged him, and I brought it up, like, three weeks later to his face, I go, hey, man, I messaged you saying that I needed, like, some emotional support. I didn't know if you'd saw, seen it. And he goes, yeah, I saw it. I just didn't respond to it. Yeah. At, at that point, I was like, man, mm. I guess I can only trust myself. Yeah. And, you know, he, he tried to make it, I, he didn't try to lie to me, but that is part of where I was like, you know, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm part of the game too. And I've mm-hmm. perpetuated the game for so long that all I can see is the things that have been done wrong to me, mm-hmm. but I can't see that I've also allowed it to happen and, and, and and let them continue to do it. And I stay in their life. And that's, yeah. that's my fault. Mm-hmm. Man, 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 that. I, I love the self-reflection. All of your poems carry, they carry a sense of self-reflection that I think has taken months, if not years to, in some sense, form those words internally to then be able to express them on paper um that and that takes a lot of that takes a lot of boldness you know that takes a lot of boldness a lot of uh integrity and a lot of um leadership and forgiveness humility uh candor i think it takes all of those different things to put on paper what it is that you're expressing um you're showcasing and pulling from a lot of different emotions, a lot of different scenarios in your life, you know, from exes to, like you say, roommates, grandma. Like, these are things that are not things you can just easily talk about, especially when they're followed by trauma, mm-hmm. you know, in some sense. So I, I respect you, man, and I truly appreciate you for displaying both poems um, that carried such amount of weight um, that was transparent. I mean, we could see right through the poems in regards to the stories. Like, you were hiding nothing. You were laying your heart bare in both. 
Um, so much respect there, man. And thank you for the history, a bit of history behind it. Um, you know, of course, you know, of course, like, you know, I didn't want you expressing or explaining anything that you didn't want to, but you laid your heart on the line in terms of the words of the poem. So um, I appreciate that, man. That absolutely amazing, bro. Amazing. Thank you, right. man. It's only fair that I, I, I give you a few as well. Um, you've set the bar high. So let me see if I can actually at least at least touch. it. <laughs> <laughs> let me at least see if I can touch it, man. So a lot of poems that I write or again, I, I remember I told you uh, and I, I believe even in the last poetry night um, that we had the poetry Zoom call that we had, um, you know, I, I kind of displayed or stated how a lot of my poems come from uh, different heartbreaks or things like that, that I was going through uh, throughout college. Um, but some of them, too, were a bit, you know, late night, uh, just contemplation on life and things of that nature as well. So this one is actually a poem about love um, and exactly what that means in some sense to me. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Maybe as I read it, I'll remember exactly you know, the background or the, 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 the reason why I wrote this, but um, yeah, let me just read it. And then I'll tell the history behind the poems. I'll probably do about five of them because mine are a lot shorter. Um, and then we can just kind of go from there. Okay. All right. So this one is called, what is love? What is love? Patience. What is love? Kindness. What is love? Gentleness. What is love? Long suffering. So now, don't you dare ask me that question. What is love? This was probably definitely when I was like maybe reading the Bible one night or, you know, just got done praying or something like that. I, you know, things I do at nighttime. Um, but then there's a, a verse somewhere where it talks about love and that aspect. So those attributes of it, patience, kindness, gentleness, long suffering, things of that nature. So I think I was in contemplation in regards to love and exactly, you know, how that looks. Cause I think a lot of people say, I love you. A lot of people say, you know, hey, do you love me? They want the same confirmation or validation back verbally. But I think love, I think 1% of love is verbal. You know, even though verbal means a lot, but I think a lot of it, a lot of love, love's weight is weight on how you showcase that. You know, anybody can say I love you. Anybody can say, you can, you can say the word love, but very few people can actually enact it. You know, so I think that's where I was going with that poem. Um, man, I th I'm not sure if I shared this one, but I'll share this one again. If so, hey, uh, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but yeah, you mind if I uh, uh, I don't know, comment or, or question? I don't know what, what I'm really going to do. It won't take yeah. long. Yeah, but I think um, a lot of people are very confused about what what love is because a lot of people think love is one or two things there's actually i think seven different types of love mm. yeah so when a lot of people say when a lot of people try to go i love you i'm like what does that mean mm. what do you mean do you mean like familial love yeah or do you mean like a friend love or do you mean like infatuated with you love mm -hmm. it, it just kind of it, it's always interesting because people have destroyed the word love mm. with their words but they don't even know how many different types of love there are yeah 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 you said they destroyed the word man that that's a really great description <laughs> of what has happened with that word you know it has just been like abused they other words too. said again just like they destroyed other words too oh man <laughs> i don't want to go into political anything but Political yeah. war, they call it snowflake. I mean, yeah. yeah. What even is a snowflake anymore? It's, yeah. It's different for each person. Yeah. And now that, you know, gaslight is the word of the year that's going to be overused too. Yeah, absolutely. It already is. It already is. Already is. Already, already is. is, man. <laughs> Bro, that actually, that's a great thing, man. I'm glad you actually brought up that comment. Um, if while I'm reading or when I'm done reading my poems or anything like that, bro, definitely chime in and ask questions or you know, your thoughts, your input as well. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say I figured it'd be good for like a, a sort of back and forth because you were yep. well, you did that with me too, but I wanted to I didn't want you to feel like you were left out and in that sort of thing. So if I do have comments, I'll I'll let you know. Bro, appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, do not hold back. <laughs> do not. 
This is great content. Okay. <laughs> if you have a, okay, well, this one is called, or the title of this is called, If You Have a Gift. And I actually remember now why I wrote this. Um, I remember, I think it was actually maybe not too long ago, maybe a few months ago, I was laying in my bed. And there are a lot of people that I come across, you know, online who have gifts. They can sing. They can dance. They know they can. They know they can, they can write poetry. You know, they can do all these different type of things, but they allow fear to get in the way of that. And it, and it in a sense, kind of, you know, smuggles um, their light. It kind of chokes um, the, the the life out of their fire. And eventually you just see those type of people just wither and fade in the background. You know, they're, they they may make a comment or something here or there, but they don't they, they don't fully embrace their gift. So I wrote this poem out of frustration of that. I was just like, man, like share it, share your gift, post, you know? So that, that's kind of my expression here. How do it's called? If you have a gift, if you have a gift, share it. Why not? Why hide it in a box? Why put it on a, why, why not put it on the spot? Make it known, share your thoughts. I may need to hear it. It ain't gotta be a lot, but why keep it a secret? When it was something to, when it was given to you as a gift, not bought. And so, again, just having that perspective of, man, you you only have a limited amount of time on this earth. But while you have that time on this earth, before you die, why keep those gifts and those things that were given to you, you know, those things that you were born with, and you didn't just ask of those things or you didn't just form them in you. But they were, in some sense, given. And then we nurtured those things. We grew those things as they were given. But why keep it to yourself? You know, there's billions of people on this earth with many of them probably needing to see or have this gift showcased to them to grow. So the frustration of that, and when I see certain people online and I see, I know them on a personal level, like how I'm, how me and you are talking right now, Isaac. I know what they can do, but then they don't do it. So it was just that frustration that allowed me to, you know, write that and showcase that. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I, I do see that a lot of people are are very adamant in not sharing what they have, especially talents that they might think are weird or useless or anything like that. Uh, for me, it's like uh, we go back to how long it took me to write the poetry I, I wrote. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, the back of my book says it took me eleven years to get to the point of writing a book mm. so it took me a long time to get to the poetry i was satisfied with mm-hmm. regardless of whether other people were satisfied with it it is it is that for me but a lot of people just think that they're supposed to go to school get a quote-unquote career and live like the past generations have done it yeah. but i think today we have we have the most ample opportunity to to express ourselves and to share what we find special or special things that we have done in our life yeah. to do so. I, I, this is the best opportunity for us. Best, bro. We, we talk about, oh, well, back in the day we were, when I was six, seven years old, I was outside playing. We had to be back by the time the, the light posts turned on. I had to be back before then. That's like eight, eight o'clock, eight 30. Mm-hmm. Nowadays we're like, oh, well now it's just uh, the good old days of this to that. I'm like, yeah, but, that's when we were like seven yeah <laughs> do we have time to just run outside whenever we want to all the time now yeah no i think i think we we should have that time for mm-hmm. sure we should definitely make time to do the things that we want to do whether it's physical or mental or anything yeah. else mm-hmm. but people just and I mean, granted i am a victim of it too mm-hmm. but people just make excuses excuses yeah so many yeah yeah that's what it is, man. That's what it boils down to. I think it's it's excuses. It's not, you know, and I think a lot in large part, it's to the fact that people care about what people think. Many people, they truly live their lives based off of what their mom, their wife, their kids. Like, I'm talking about even the people closest to you. They allow those people to choke out yep. their passion of singing, the passion of dance. Oh, man, my, you know, they've told me I couldn't sing. They told me I couldn't write. They told me this drawing was stupid. They laughed. My yeah. wife laughed. You know, my wife laughed. My girlfriend laughed at my drawing. So it, a lot of times it could be the people closest to you that can ch- that can choke out your gift when the world thinks that it's an amazing thing. 
you know, so. mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I I think um, I forget what song it is. I definitely take inspiration because a lot of um, a lot of the rappers I listened to were definitely like brought up in a in a in a harsh environment. Yeah, absolutely. But he goes uh, the the part of the song, and I wish I could remember the song because I want to give credit to whoever did it. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe you'll know as soon as I say it. But mm-hmm. it goes, you know, the the people we hurt the most are are me and you. The people that we have mm-hmm. whole, uh, closest to us, they're the ones that hurt us the most because. You know, the, the more we get to know somebody, the more we understand who they are as a person mm. and what they deem as worthwhile and not worthwhile. And yes. with each person, you're not going to agree with everything they say. Yeah. And you're not going to disagree with everything they say unless, you know, they want to disagree just for the argue, for argument's sake, which yeah, there's plenty of people that do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, it's, it's like. I told them I wanted to, it, I told them that I wanted to do the job that I'm doing now as an independent contractor. And they told me that I couldn't do it, that it wasn't possible, that this, that, that. I'm like, bro, you don't even know anything about <laughs> the the work that is done. You don't yeah. even know. You don't understand it. So how are you going to tell me that I can't do it? I've seen it happen. I've seen success. And just like with anything else, I, the job wasn't the problem for me. It was three months ago I had I didn't have a concept of discipline. Mm. So mm. I would do things and I go, you know what? I don't feel like doing it today. And I just didn't do it. Mm-hmm. And and that is, that is also why I said, you know, I'm trying to work on myself, trying to get certain things in order, mm-hmm. uh, my physical shape, my mental, my, my mental shape. I needed to have more discipline. Mm-hmm. And when I learned how to implement discipline in my job, yeah, I could then take the same formula and discipline it and formulate it into other aspects of my life mm-hmm. but if i'm just going to go to a job and do a nine to five then what do i need to develop yeah yeah i want to be and i think that goes back to the point of i don't want to do the same thing every day because then that's how i i lose pieces of myself mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i think with the way i've been with the way i was raised i have lost way more than the person my age should have lost. Yeah. You know, I, I take into consideration the the some of the ailments of long of long term NPD abuse mm-hmm. is the advancement of gray matter in your brain. Mm-hmm. And you know, later on in life I'm gonna have problems with memory loss, with mm-hmm. possibilities of of you know being able to be independent in, in any form or fashion. So mm-hmm. I think that for me that is that is a near uh, a distant future. And yeah. I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to mm-hmm. do the things in my life. And if that happens, mm-hmm. I'm going to be in a spot in my life where I am proud of what I accomplished mm-hmm. up to that point. Mm-hmm. Just doing exactly. the same thing is just wear and tear on your physical body, mm-hmm. wear and tear on your mental body, wear yep. and tear on your individuality. And it just makes you mindless to the masses. Wow. And, and again, I don't want to really bring politics into it, but you can see if, if you're actually paying attention to the politics, you can see mm-hmm. everything that's happening and go, this is exactly what was happening in my household. <laughs> it's on a larger worldwide scale. Yep. And if, and if you want to, if you want to just lose yourself and become the mundane, mm-hmm. far be it for me to stop you, mm-hmm. but don't tell me to do the same thing. If I'm wanting and willing to do something else. Mm. Mm. You're fighting, man. You're fighting. You're pressing against the masses. You're going against the grain. You know, you're swimming against the current. That's that's what it is. And and you feel it. You feel it. You know, you know, when you're you know, when you're stepping out of you, when you're stepping out of the Matrix, you know, I'm not sure if you ever seen the the actual Matrix movie. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah bro. It's the same thing. It's the pit, the blue, the red. Pit. It's it's that aspect of, you know, which one. Will you will you continue to live in the matrix? Will you continue to just live this life, Neo? Or yeah. you know, will you take this pill and 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 truly, you know, though you will suffer hardship, you will come to be to really live, you know, to really truly live, you know. Um, that's why I love your poem about the sleep, man. I I I love that poem. Um, but just that whole aspect of you know, just how you kind of articulated sleep in the aspect of 
you know, being sucked into this matrix or this just sleeping uh, mode of just not truly living. Mm -hmm. You know, but staying awake is an aspect of that. And that's when you truly are awake. That's when you're truly living because then you're knowing. I just love how you put that together. But um, I love it, man. I love I love what you're saying. I love the things that you're you. I can definitely tell that you've had a lot of time to think on the hardships you've had. And they've not only made you a better person, but I think they've given you a better perspective on life that has allowed you to enjoy it even more. Mm -hmm. I do. I do, man. This is amazing, man. Um, okay. This one right here is for all the poetry haters, people that actually hate on poor, uh, poetries or think that po poetry is lame. The, the title of this poem is poetry is lame. <laughs> so let me, let me, you know, in some sense, scratch their itch. Poetry is lame. The jokes are all the same, but I can tell you one thing. I ain't telling jokes. I ain't playing games. When I pour forth my love in words, it's anything but a game because I don't see her as a game. Some little thing to play around with and restart after every death or bang. Nah, poetry ain't lame, but it is more enjoyable than any game. But to, but to the simple mind, you'll see it all the same. But listen to my words a bit closer and maybe your mindset will change. This right here was definitely, I think, this this was definitely, I think, at a, written at a time in which I was, I think I was just now starting to post poetry on my, um, let's just talk Trey, um, you know, on my social media and things of that nature. And I was just contemplating what a, probably a lot of people are probably thinking about poetry um, in that, you know, it's just this, mundane thing that is just blah 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 just words you know trying to make people cry or just make them emotional um but then i start to talk about poetry in this poem in the form of like me talking about a her you know i'm I'm going to treat her more than just a game i'm going to treat her with respect and then you're going to see it you're going to see that you know she's respected you're going to see the beauty that she has so to me poetry is like a, a woman you know it's like a female it's like um, someone that I would, you know, my lady, like someone I would want to respect, want to, um, in some sense, nurture or build up or, or, or build, you know, just showcase in a sense of seriousness. And I think poetry is the same way. You know, you don't just treat them, treat poetry or treat the realm of the or, or the environment, the community of poetry as just some mundane thing that has no real value. Um, and I think that a lot of times as we showcase our stories and we showcase the transparency throughout our lives in poetry, I think a lot of people can come to respect it. I think it's all about perspective and it's inviting them into our perspective through poetry. Well, I'd first like to say uh shout out to the haters for that one. Hey. <laughs> uh, but I, I also take that same sort of concept maybe not with a wife or girlfriend yeah uh, i try to treat everybody with you know some sort of basic respect until mm -hmm. i realize mm -hmm. whether they deserve more or deserve less from yeah mm -hmm. but um I, I think when i did um post on i don't remember which one it was it might have been it was either the talent or it wasn't the poetry one it was talent or art but the japanese three yeah one, yeah uh, i think i i think i nurture and, and take care of my poetry like i would with a child mm. i think in that aspect it's it's the poetry needs a lot to be able to support its own weight and and come out in the way that you want it to yep. so you have to really focus on on weak points of the child to make them stronger and try to build them up rather than tear them down mm. and i know that's the same sort of aspect with at, at this point i didn't I, at the point of writing that poem i didn't really understand women I've, I've taken matters in my own hand to understand them more but you know, there's there's plenty to know mm -hmm. uh, but yeah it's it's treating people with with uh, nurturous sort of uh, sort of things mm -hmm. in a way that helps build it up and uh, if, if if you don't try to kind of treat it with as like something that you need to protect or you need to nurture Mm -hmm. it's just going to be just like every other poem 
yeah. just like you said in your poem. It's just going to be like every other poem. But if you look a little bit closer, you can see the influences mm. of your life and other people's influences on your life to create, you know, art, poetry. Yeah, exactly. So, Exactly. Inviting them into our world. This is a world that is full of joy, uh, creativity, um, romance, you know, uh, sadness, happiness, scary. It's like poetry expresses emotions. It takes those emotions and allow us to then showcase them in a tangible way. You know, I think emotions can be so intangible. You can't really grab hold of them. But then poetry allows you to just wrestle with it and then go, hey you're going to get on this paper. <laughs> and, and so exactly what you said, man. Um, we're changing people's perspectives. I think with poetry, you know, we're, we're changing people. I, I've, I've, I've known tons of people who've never wrote poetry who now uses poetry as a form of therapy, mm-hmm. you know? So it's changing lives, man. Poetry is truly, it's truly something that is artistic, you know, again, closing out with the talent show, you know, this, this again goes back to art and poetry is right underneath that umbrella of art. Um, art being that umbrella that showcases and houses so many different forms. Um, but poetry is definitely one that I think a lot of people, even those who consider it, who consider it lame, consider it not as beneficial as something that is just blah, 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 you know, skeptical romanticism. Um, it's far more than that. So, um, I think I'm going to leave it there, man. Three poetry, three poems for tonight, because I know that I have tomorrow night poetry night since today was the talent show. Uh, yep. I think I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to like spill some of the ones I actually have. I have some pretty good ones that I want to kind of save in my arsenal. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I only have one more thing I'll have to say, but go ahead and say whatever you need to say. No, no, no. But hey, lay everything out, man. Before I close out, yeah, I would love for you to say anything you have to say. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I'm going to actually bring about the 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 uh hunger to listen to the poems that we presented again mm. uh i'm going to take a piece from your last poem and a piece from my first poem mm. and go look if you want to do the mu- mundane and you want to hate on our, our artistry you're going to just see the black and white which is what i did in the first mm. poem mm. but if you look you can see that everything is more than just black and white there's so much in between if you think of the day as just get up, do my work, go home, go to sleep and do it again. The trees are going to look darker. The trees are going to look more bland, more bleak, mm-hmm. more depressing. Mm-hmm. But if you look, you, you can see the greens, you can see the browns, you can see mm-hmm. all different colors. So if you want to look in through the lens of black and white, far be it for me to stop you. And I'm going to say that a lot, apparently. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, if you want to look at the colors and you can see the more yeah. detailed things and, and how beautiful everything is but you just think that you just look at the smaller picture instead of looking at the big picture mm-hmm. so I, I i think poetry is all sorts of beautiful colors mm-hmm. but so many people just want to look at the black and white mm-hmm. perfect 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 that is exactly what i'm saying that's exactly what most people do and, um, you know, again, in closing, I think Isaac and I both are inviting you guys, you know, again, art in general. So those who are artistically um, expressive, but you feel like in some sense that is lame or that's not something you should do or, you know, people will laugh at you. People will look at you like you're a fool, like you're silly, like you're crazy. You know, I get that a lot on YouTube when I post my DJ beats. Again, I like the DJ. DJ is another form of art that I do as well. I'll probably showcase that next time. But um, a lot of times on YouTube, there'll be little kids probably, or I don't know who they are, but they, they'll they laugh at the the images. I love to take photos. And again, I look at photography as a form of art. So I love taking photos with the certain expressions and, and ways in which I showcase myself in each photo. Um, just any aspect of art, man. If, that, if you're somebody that's looking at that as lame or you're afraid of what your friends or your coworkers may say if they find you on, on online, um, showcasing yourself. Don't be, don't be because you're missing a whole another form or, or a whole nother world out there that can offer you so much joy and happiness. And why sacrifice your happiness when you only have this life? So Isaac, man, this has been a pleasure, man. This is my virtual talent show. 
bro, your poems were phenomenal, um, amazing. Bro, thank you. I mean, everything you said was just from the heart. Um, guys, go follow Isaac, man. Isaac, if we can close out, man, with your social media, where can they find you? If they just want to hit you up, maybe they want to buy your book. Um, they want to follow you on certain social medias. Where can they go to find you? Um, so I also want to say that uh, whether inside this talent show or the poetry night, mm-hmm. art inspires art. So if you want to showcase your artistic ability, it will only influence and what what's the word? Um, uh, like for me, with uh, the very first thing I saw with mm-hmm. I forget her name. Now. I'm horrible with names, but she wrote why. And I wrote, or she wrote, um, why does she still write? And I took inspiration from her, mm. her art. So art inspires art. Please, please don't hold back. Um, mm. You can find me on Twitter, which I don't usually post on, but uh, I do PI minor 49er, which is just a play on Scooby-Doo because I like Scooby-Doo. Mm-hmm, nice. And, um, on uh, YouTube, you can find me under PIM, which is capital P lowercase i and uh an uppercase m and yeah i think that's pretty much it where you can find me for now nice man nice 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 i love it man guys go follow him i'm amazing guy isaac i met him on youtube uh he came over to my uh talent show group my art group as well as my poetry group actually he's in multiple groups now in my community but um, go follow him, support him, show him that love, man. Make sure you also comment below, you know, anything that you would like to see or any questions or comments you have, let us know below. And we will also make sure that we get back to you. Um, also, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe um, to the channel. If you also want to be in this talent show, this is my virtual talent show. We have these every Friday uh, for the art group. This will be every Friday at 8 p.m. for the private group. I have a public and private group for the public group. We try to do this once a month. For the private group, we do this every week. Um, Again, if you want to join, definitely hit me up or click the link in my bio on my IG or TikTok, and uh, you can get yourself set up. Um, But with that said, I want to thank you all so much for, you know, staying if you've watched up until this moment, this point. Isaac, man, if you could stay on, I'm just going to end the recording. Um, But guys, until next time, as you guys know, peace.